My dad prowls young women on the internet. My dad has multiple social media accounts. On his profile, he uses the name Tad Steele and uses other people's pictures. Do you guys remember when Tad Steele showed up? It was actually my computer he was using to chat with multiple women. He was talking dirty to them, saying inappropriate things. He has told women that he's from 38 to 44 when he's actually 56 years old. It was more weird that he used his normal profile hitting on our friends and family on social media. A lot of these women are my age or younger, and even if they're not my age, they're my family members or my friends. Recently, another relative sent me a conversation between her and my dad. He messaged her and asked her to have dinner with him and called her things like beautiful and pretty. A few years ago, my dad commented on one of my best friend's pictures, hot. He also commented that she looks grown up and more womanly. I'm trying to protect my dad, but I see him becoming a creeper. I got a message from a woman he told her that she should be part of Erotic Girls of Warcraft and that she was so pretty that the mouse on his computer got stuck scrolling through her pictures. She said, I don't know if you're the wife, but you need to get your man in check. I find it to be a huge concern because at the end of the day, I don't want to be the one to have the creepy dad. I think my dad has potential to unknowingly become a sexual predator. Not only are Lance's daughters upset about what they call his creepy behavior towards women, they also say he was an MIA father. Take a look. My dad is a pathological liar. Sad, hopeless, and embarrassing. He can also be manipulative. And I know my dad is an alcoholic. My mom found out my dad was cheating on her, and it began a downward spiral. My dad takes credit for raising us, but he did not. When my parents got divorced, my dad didn't stick around. He puts alcohol above his family, and now I think it's out of his control. He's told people in our family, I drink about two-fifths of vodka a day. When I'm with my dad, I can tell that he's undergoing withdrawal symptoms of fidgeting, shaking, and sweating. Sue told me she found 30 empty bottles of vodka, half pints. If my dad texts me when he's drinking, he plays the victim. My dad brings up how often we talk or don't and usually condemns me for it. When I was in high school, I found out that my dad was drinking and driving. When the cops pulled him over, he was resistant, so they beat him up. I think that was the moment when I realized that I didn't trust my dad. He has 11 counts of alcohol offenses, including resisting arrest and driving under the influence. My dad got let go from his job. He said it was because of budget cuts. I think he was drunk on the job. I feel pity for my father because he's so far gone and I don't really recognize him anymore. My dad doesn't understand the magnitude of the damage that he's caused. My dad's life is at stake. I fear my father is gonna drink himself to death. Okay, your daughter just said, I don't think my dad understands the magnitude of the damage that he's caused. Is that accurate? Do, do you think that you're misreading this from their point of view, or do you think they're overreacting to your point of view? I believe that their feelings are just, you know, as they, you know, feel them and they're truthful about them. There is a lot of background that they don't know. Things go on between husbands and wives behind closed doors, away from kids, that kids have no idea about, right? But their issues are not what was happening then, but what's happening now. Was there a time in 2015 when you were drunk in public in your girlfriend's shorts? In my girlfriend's shorts? Yeah. No, not that I ever recall. Okay, did you fall on your face last year uh, at last year's Super Bowl? I don't recall that. Well, you wouldn't, I guess, if you were so drunk you <laughs> right. fell on your face. <laughs> Well, that's part of the problem of being that drunk is you miss some of that and they don't. Did you walk Brittany down the aisle? No. Why? It was the plan to do so until the uh, day before the wedding and she told me that she did not want me to. Uh, I heard and took it as she was afraid of what my disposition would be.